happening now, Gaffigan takes the stage and makes some laughs. A teen busted for burglary and trespassing. And the Red Hot Jammers are back in Jamestown next week. That's news now for August 4th, 2017. Live and on demand from the Chautauqua Audio Work Studios, where interest-free financing is just a phone call away. This is Morning News Now. And a big good morning to you. It is 73 degrees with partly cloudy skies. I'm Justin Gould. And I'm Kyle Helis. The price tag on that shiny new Comedy Center just keeps increasing. That's right, Kyle. During Thursday's visit to Jamestown, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo said the state wants to make sure that the Comedy Center succeeds. Thursday afternoon, the governor, Andrew Cuomo, was here. He had a lot of things to say about the Comedy Center, a lot of nice things to say about Jamestown. And at the end of his speech, he says he's pledging 500,000 taxpayer dollars to go on a national marketing campaign next year for the National Comedy Center. Next year, we are signing up the first sponsor, a $500,000 commitment to promote the National Comedy Center through the I Love New York campaign to kick it off as a national tour. Thank you, congratulations. Now, of course, those are taxpayer dollars, but Assemblyman Andy Goodell said, don't sweat it. The budget is tightly packed and New York actually has room. He said, actually, that's a wise investment by Governor Cuomo. So this is not a state budget that's out of control and money is spinning out all over the place. This is a very tight state budget and the governor has freed up a half a million dollars to help the Comedy Center kick off with a national marketing campaign. So the Comedy Center is still slated to be complete by the end of next year at least. Reporting from the site of the National Comedy Center, it's evolving, I promise. Ryan Hedrick, WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. Our Ryan Hedrick reporting there. Cuomo said the state is investing about $14 million in the project. Two Jamestown men were arrested on Thursday and charged with running an illegal cigarette operation. James Chapman and Jack Kincaid will appear in court today. Our Ryan Hedrick is reporting that Chapman was the front man for the cigarette operation while Kincaid bankrolled it. Among the charges being faced by both men, tax fraud and failure to report sales tax. Two Salamanca men were named in a 54 count superseding indictment alleging mail fraud wire fraud and bank fraud. The U.S. government says the men opened a debt reconstruction business with the sole intention of scamming people out of money. They allegedly defrauded hundreds of victims out of more than one million dollars. Straight ahead on Morning News Now, a teenage boy wanted by the sheriff's office leads police on a foot chase, but first here's a look at your skyline weather forecast. A look at your skyline weather forecast for this Friday morning. Sunny skies early, a chance of a spotty afternoon thunderstorm is possible. We top out near 83 degrees. A look at tonight, those thunderstorms remain early in the evening. They'll be fairly scattered across our region. Partly cloudy skies later in the evening. We bottom out near 55. Looking towards our Saturday, spotty showers early in the day. Sun develops as we head throughout the afternoon. Cooler, though, with the highs in the upper 60s. Looking towards our seven-day outlook, Sunday remains sunny. That's the story through next week. We could see some afternoon showers in there, but mostly sunshine. Back to fairly normal temperatures, we hang around in the mid-70s. From the Skyline Weather Center, I'm Justin Gould. Morning News Now continues next. Jamestown's newest vape shop is Cloud City, located at 121 East 2nd Street and open 11 to 7 Monday through Saturday. This cool, fresh environment is a great place to hang with friends and vape. Cloud City's expert staff is here to help. Try their in-house flavor, Cloud City, a delicious marshmallow combination, or their flavor of the day for just $3. Whether you're a first-time vapor or an expert puffer, visit Cloud City today.
A 16-year-old suspected of burglary was arrested by the sheriff's office following a foot pursuit on Thursday night. Authorities say they were conducting a warrant check when the boy took off. In addition to burglary charges, the boy was wanted for trespassing. He's currently being held in Mayville. And SUNY Fredonia is hosting a party. Not that kind of party, though. A partial solar eclipse viewing party. The event takes place on the first day of the fall semester, which is August 21st. Uh, the university says that they will distribute more than 1,500 pairs of sunglasses, if you're interested. Partial solar eclipse happened when the moon becomes, uh, I'm sorry, be between the sun and the earth, but the moon only partially covers the sun's disk. Well, happy National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. August 4th today is a day to enjoy those tasty bits of chocolate in your favorite cookie. Back in the 1930s, the Toll House cookie recipe was born, and it was a hit. So whether you bake or buy your favorite chocolate chip cookies, take a moment today to celebrate National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. The main WNY News Now with Ryan Hedrick. Coverage comes first means that we will put anything and everything we have on the line just so you know what's going on in your community. We have a lot to lose. We have our children to think about. We have our jobs to think about. How are we going to pay our mortgage? How are we going to pay our rent? How are we going to put food in the refrigerator? And if anything affects those things, we're going to report them from crime to health to education. We will be there if it matters to you. That's what coverage comes first means to me. W Sports now desk, the Jamestown Jammers, Red Hot eliminated the Elmira Pioneers by sweeping them out of the West Division Championship Series last night. Final score 7-4. The Jammers faced the Mohawk Valley Diamond Dogs in the perfect game Collegiate Baseball Championship Series. That's a mouthful. First game next week in Jamestown. Major League Baseball scores on a roll. The Indians scalp the Yankees 5-1. The Red Sox over the White Sox 9-5 over in the National League. The Mets lose to the Rockies 5-4, and the Pirates blank the Cincinnati Reds 6-0. A side note, the NFL is also in the news today. Back in action after the Cowboys beat the Cardinals in the Hall of Fame game 20-18. From the WNY Sports Now desk, I'm Ryan Hedrick. Have a great weekend. Located in the St. Elmo building in Chautauqua Institution, La Familia Restaurant is more than a restaurant. So people love the fact that we are committed to the farm-to-table aspect and our produce and focus on sustainability with our seafood too. La Familia has signature dishes. The sirloin filet over on the table. Next is our Aegean chicken and a cider brine and pork chop. La Familia even has a singing chef. La Familia, fine dining with a family atmosphere. Let them host your special event today. LaFamiliaCHQ.com EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvanna Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer, plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Gaffigan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, look at his beard. He looks like an out of shape Civil War veteran. <laughs> I do declare that I have eaten way too much food. <laughs> Last night, Jim Gaffigan took the stage at the Northwest Arena in downtown Jamestown. You see, they're part of Lucy Comedy Fest. We caught up with people from Jamestown to Connecticut to see what they thought. 
Um, he was hilarious. I actually, when I, I saw the announcement, I hadn't really heard of him. I didn't know who he was, and I didn't know what to think. But, you know, I, I had a good time when I came last year, and I wanted to go to all the big names. He was really funny. He was really funny. He, he, was, he was hysterical tonight. It was great. It was a great night here in Jamestown, a beautiful night, big crowd. He performed well. The crowd tonight is huge. Like you said, the governor was here. The building's going to be finished in the next year or so, and uh, this is great. they got a band playing and everything. This is wonderful. I was in tears. It was awesome. I love Gaffigan. Yeah, this was phenomenal for James Todd. Well, Kyle, I must tell you, he's pretty funny. I wish I could have been there to watch it. It sounded like a great show. I've heard so many good things about him and about, uh, I think he was on the Trailer Park Boys or something along those lines. Yeah, um, I know he's, he's all over the country, from, from New York to L.A. and everywhere in between. I mean, definitely, definitely star power coming into Jamestown. And, you know, we have video from last night of people entering the show. The only time I've ever really seen downtown like this, I don't know if we can show this or not, but is during this festival. Absolutely. Like, this is the, you know, a, a lot of people say that it's just a waste of time and a waste of money, but at the same time, look how many people come from all across the country, not just this area, the country itself, mm -hmm. just to come to this Lucy Comedy Festival. I mean, it's a huge hit. Yeah, and everyone's having a great time with, last night we had smack dab there, you know, the, the whole, every seat that was open was filled there, and it's, it's incredible to see, and Kyle, I'm excited for the future of the Comedy Center. So I'm happy for it, too. It, it's, a, it's a step in the right direction for Jamestown, we're hoping. Now, this festival has been a main stage for a long time, for, for many of us, including you. Including myself. What is this? Oh, that's just... <laughs> my, that's my weekend attire, guys. I thought so. I thought this is what you do on the weekend. This is from 2016. Did you go to a photo booth? Or yeah, it's, it's actually over at the train station. They have a little photo booth where you can go and get the Lucy dresses yeah. and put them on and, you know, take all your... They have the wigs and everything. You know, I should have got the wig. It would have you know, made you the part a lot better. But you didn't know I think I look pretty darn good. You'd be out here. That's, that's good. Good good laughs, good laughs. And tonight we have another show yet again. Kevin James. Kevin James will be here. So we will have coverage all weekend long. Paul Blart. WNYNewsNow.com. That's right, that is who. who That's that is. Paul Blart, yes. the mall cop. Gonna be hilarious. That is it for today's edition. Of course, we're back on Monday. And make sure you join our social media revolution by following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And for round the clock news, you can head to WNYNewsNow.com. It's where coverage comes first. Have a great weekend, everybody. Oh, this is fun.